this is going to be a little bit different video uh, than usual because I have technically nothing to show you guys but um, I wanted to talk about the handbags that I've sold. Um, I had a two uh, vlog sales in the past and most of the bags that I'm gonna um, show you the pictures and uh, that I've sold actually went to you guys. So um, a few of you purchased my handbags and I hope you truly enjoy them. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I pretty much wanted to tell you which ones I sold. Those are a few that I sold to either Fashion File and Tretzi. So I kind of, yeah, I try to keep it simple. If there's something I don't use or, you know, I change my mind, when I, you know, after I purchase the bag and use it a few times, I usually try to just sell it because there's just no point of holding to it. So um, anyway, let's get started. So the very first handbag I'm gonna show you guys that I sold just recently, about a month ago or so, was my Gucci tote. I believe it was called In Bloom and it was um, like a spring limited edition i believe two springs ago or one spring ago i don't remember exactly but um i think it was kind of very popular and they even came up with the shoes and you know with the print on the shoes and they had different colors mine was in blue and i purchased it um from the selfridges store um the london store and i really loved it at first but I've noticed that I very real, rarely would use it. Um, I think it was like last summer that I used, you know, quite a few times and I was like, there was like one month that I really, really loved it. But then after that, I, I never really reached for that bag. So why should I keep it, right? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I saw that I ended up selling it about a month ago or a little bit more to a fashion file. Um, they gave me a really good quote for this bag. So I said, well, I'm just gonna let it go. Um, and yeah, I had this awesome, like huge box, which was also had all those blue, you know, flowers on it. It was really beautiful. Um, I think that generally I didn't really also like this bag because the handles were a little bit too short and um, I also got my Burberry tote for Christmas which like material wise texture wise was very similar to the Gucci and I've noticed that I'm reaching more for that Burberry bag than for the Gucci so um, it just seems like it goes more you know I can kind of fit into my kind of lifestyle and outfit the Burberry print better than the bloom print maybe just a plain Gucci tote would be better but um, nevertheless it was basically a brand new bag that I gave up so um, and I don't regret it even for for a bit um, I'm very happy so the next bag that I have sold uh, in the past long time ago I think it was about two three years ago was my um, Dior saddle bag and this was kind of like a vintage I guess you would consider it I purchased it from real real and it was all leather bag excellent condition came with the authenticity card and um, you know the dust bag everything and I was completely obsessed okay don't get me wrong once I purchased this bag I was like yay <laughs> But it was as I started using it, I realized that it completely doesn't work for me. So I guess because of its shape, you know, I mean, it was just a little bit funny looking and uh, I couldn't really fit the things that I wanted like easily in this bag. So I've decided to sell it. And um, yeah, I, I believe I sold it for to someone on the Tretzi. Um, yeah, it was a good transaction, everything went smooth and uh, I hope the person that purchased it liked it but I said the, the back was really beautiful, it was all leather and yeah, but just didn't work for me. Okay, the next bag that I've sold to one of my savvies, it was my Chanel double flop medium to large uh, lambskin classic bag. Um, I thought a lot about selling this bag and I tried to sell a few times previously but then I was like kind of pulling it back and um, 
yeah, <laughs> I'm very happy that I sold because this bag did not work for me because it was just too small. And I kept it because I loved it. Like, it was lambskin, so the leather was very smooth, but it was vintage. I think it was from late 80s or early 90s, but it was gold plated, so it was just beautiful. And even though it was vintage, it was in excellent, excellent condition. And I really took care of this bag. I mean, um, it was passed on to me, <laughs> you know. So, yes, I mean, this bag was just beautiful. But, you know, once I purchased my Jumbo two years ago, and then I was trying to compare Jumbo and then, you know, the, the large, the Jumbo suits me so much better, you guys. <laughs> and, you know, as much as I was, would like to hold on to that bag, it just didn't make any sense. So I sold it to one of my savvies and I'm very happy that I did. And I hope she enjoys that bag very much because it was a beautiful, beautiful bag. All right, the next couple of bags I'm gonna show you guys, they were my Louis Vuitton bags. So when I first started to collect Louis Vuitton bags, I kind of went a little bit crazy. <laughs> and I want to pretty much have like everything. And um, after a while, you realize that you don't really need those bags or it just, they don't suit your lifestyle. So for example, the Tribeca bag, it was the uh, very structure. Uh, Damien Ibin back. Um, it was beautiful because there was just no signs of use other than when you lift the flap there was like a little uh, crack in the leather underneath but outside this back um, truly believe it was indestructible. <laughs> um, it was very very well made back and um, but first of all it was too structured for me and the coated uh, leather strap that I had kept slipping off my shoulder constantly no matter how much I put in this bag it would never stay on my shoulder so that was very annoying um, and then I'm not a big Damien Ibin print person so I love my monogram and if you've seen my handbag collection video you've seen everything I have is monogram so yeah, I realized very quickly that this is not a bag for me and it was sold again to one of you guys. So hopefully you enjoy it. Let's talk about the Louis Vuitton Lumines. I think this is how you pronounce this. This was a beautiful, beautiful bag. Um, it was all leather. It was very large and it has a gorgeous, like a taupey, um, light, kind of browny taupey kind of color. Um, and I was like on the hunt, you know, for this bag. I purchased it pre-owned, but it was in excellent, excellent condition. And maybe I used it three or four times, you guys, and I gave up. Um, the reason <sighs> this bag completely didn't suit my lifestyle. I did not realize that this bag is going to be quite slouchy. And um, the hardware, the, which was stunning on this bag, was just very heavy and it, it feels like it was twisting the back on the side and I think some people like that look but not me I wasn't <laughs> I was just not feeling it and then when I put my stuff in it I felt like it was just kind of getting heavy although the back on itself wasn't really heavy although it was made all of this uh, on front uh, leather um, but nevertheless it just didn't work for me um, also the straps that it has two handles and I felt like the two handles were too short to put it over my shoulder and then it has the big you know one strap which was fine but then I felt like the back was just slouching <laughs> you know so I don't know it was just not I, I quickly realized that this is not my back so that back was sitting in my closet for quite a long time before I sold it and um, yeah I just I just had to move on to another bags because that obviously didn't work the next two bags that I've sold, I had uh, Louis Vuitton Speedies 25, and both of them were pretty much identical. Uh, one was made in France, one was made in the US, and as much as I, you know, kind of like the cuteness of the Speedy, it wasn't a very practical bag, you know, for me. I'm not a typical handheld kind of bag person. Um, 
it's just you know like let's say when you go shopping and I wish it had the strap, the bandolier strap or something like that, but they were just, I mean, they're very cute, but they're just not for me. I, I cannot hold my back and try to do my shopping and I don't know, like if I do have a handheld bag, it have to be like, I'm going out, you know, just like kind of, I don't have to do much. Um, but the speedies are like your everyday bag in my opinion and they are just beautiful I love the look of the speedies, but for some reason just the fact that they didn't have strap like I have to pass on so um, Yeah, like I said, I had two because one was my was my mother-in-law and I just she didn't use it We decided to sell it. So and again, I went to um, to my sabi so I hope Again, you guys enjoy it because I mean like I said, I love the look of it, but it's in my lifestyle it just wasn't practical at all and the very last bag that I've sold was also a speedy but it was speedy 30 and it was um, bandolier and it was made of it was like a cloth kind of um, material it was called the idyll or idyll I don't know exactly how to pronounce it was really really nice speedy it had a beautiful um, hardware like I said, it was a bandolier, so I had a strap and that worked for me and I use it for quite a while. And especially when we were going out, you know, like Disneyland or something and I had my little kids and the stroller, I will just put a crossbody and it just worked perfectly for me. So this bag was very practical, but I think I kind of grew out of it. So after a while, I noticed that it was just sitting in my closet and I wasn't using it anymore and I was just ready to move on to the next bag so I think the next bag after this I purchased was the uh, pochette Mati, which I am completely obsessed with so um, yeah I end up selling my um, speedy 30 bandolier to uh, one of my savvies and uh, I hope she's enjoying it as well <laughs> so anyway this is all my bags that I have sold recently, you guys. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is just a little bit different. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.